Okay, so what's your next question? We'll just do this, and I'll, I'll make this into a blog post instead, and I'll figure this out, so. Um, actually, well, that was, that was like my main question. I have this other bookshelf over here that I'm looking at, and it needs to be organized, but it's so kind of a mess. Well, let me show you, I and have, I can do, um, I'll do a quickie, and I'll, and I'll give you a plan. Do it. I don't care. No judgment. Boy, you you just, yeah, I just showed you all my mess. <laughs> all right so i have let me see can you see it kind of i see office equipment so, and plants yeah so it's got um you know a bunch of like boxes and a magazine and a box of cassette tapes and then there's the plant and then like a photo album stuck in there and an old journal and <laughs> and a few binders and then here I have some um I have the the CD player and some labels and then kind of more on the bottom you know books envelopes like everything's just kind of all there are my checks over here and some office supplies. You know, it's just all like a total mishmash. Right. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do when we get off the phone is to take a picture of that and send it to me. Because I have an idea. Okay. All right. So then the next thing I want you to do, you're intermingling your stuff even on a shelf. But the shelves can provide different zones. So like you could have like... Your photo album and your Mexico book kind of go together because that's kind of leisure or family or memory or kind of, but that's kind of like personal. Then for your business supply, your off, well, then you have business supplies and office supplies. So I would think, look at your bookshelf and see what zones you can create and put all like things in a zone. Because was that three shelves or four? Four. Oh, oh, so you could have four zones and like. The plant could live next to the radio like it is or whatever. But, like, you can, I think, mix in the plants in the zones. The plants won't, they're neutral. But, like, I would get, like, all your checks and maybe some of the binders that go together, together. And then all your, the envelope should be with the pen so that you have, like, a little supply section. And maybe so that you don't have to look at the box of envelopes, you get, like, a little basket and tuck all your stuff in there. Mm. You'll also be able to use the vertical space a little bit more in the bookshelf so you won't have to spread out horizontally. But then you'll always know, like, if you find a random wide-out container or random highlighter, you chuck it in the basket. That way it eliminates the little clutter and gets it all together. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good idea. Is that helpful? And yeah, and I think I have a basket downstairs that I can use for that. Yeah. So is it the mishmash and you've just kind of been adding things where they fit? Yeah, I think if I just need to put something somewhere, I just put it up there. But I don't really have any... Because it's out you of know. your immediate way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's like some greeting cards that just need to be thrown into recycling. and Yeah. <clears throat> Um, that's what I would suggest is, okay. is doing that. Establish. So what do you usually, zone. what do you recommend like for zones? Like what do you. Okay. So um, you had personal stuff. What were the binders? Business? Um, yeah, they might be empty for all I know. <laughs> okay. So you have to look. <laughs> so, um, if they're not empty, then they would go with like maybe your chat, like if they're business checks or I, I don't know what kind of checks they are, but like, um, I would just put like with like or similar yeah. with similar. If it's not, that's like the fundamental one. Are you first, the first question is, are you going to use the item? Do you want it? Like those greeting cards you said need to be recycled. Well, then that gets rid of anything that you're not actively using because that's in pretty close that's not, uh, that's on the other side of your room from your desk, right? You can't just pivot and you're right there. It's, it's you close know, kind of right next to me. I can't reach it. Right. So in space, kind of like that, I don't call that prime real estate, but that's like still beachfront. 
right? So it's not like, it's like the next street in from the beach. So it's still really good space. And so you want to have stuff on there that you're actively using. If you're not actively, yeah. if that binder is empty, it does not need to live on the shelf. It needs to live in a box with other unused binders that are not being loved. Somewhere that is harder to get to. Because you want the stuff mm -hmm. that you're actively using to be super easy to get to. Okay. That's very good advice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad it's helpful. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what is the biggest thing? Is that it's just a catch-all? And that's what you've struggled with? Yeah. Yeah, and it just looks a mess. And, you know, sometimes I'll try to find something and I can't really find it. Or, you know... It just doesn't look as good as it could look. Yeah, I think if you were to get like three baskets that all look the same and use those on, you know, different shots, that would help unify it because you have so many different things working in there. And it would also help mm -hmm. like that way you could get more than one zone on a shelf if if you needed 